favorite uh, place to buy fuel here we're gonna get some E85 real quick see what it tests out at see uh, if they already started us on that winter blend or, or what exactly we have so this is kind of part of the process when you run E85 and uh, kind of the only way to know for sure what you got I carry with me this little kit all the time um, Open it really quick. Inside is the little test tube for um, testing E85, and then also the the lid for it. So this is just a little little Holly E85 test tube, and I'll show that a little later. But this this main jar here is so you can actually put fuel in it because <laughs> take a fuel sample home because otherwise, I mean, how are you going to get fuel into this tiny little test tube? So. Anyway, just kind of a part of the deal, so I, I just carry this. This sits behind the seat in my truck, and uh, anyway, I'll show you how it works. Ah, oh, what an idiot! Okay, so I got my sample here. <laughs> Didn't spill, so that's good. That's always the first step. Um, so you could test it right here, um, but I'm just gonna go home because um, it doesn't really matter. And uh, this is just for, for show, but uh, I probably would do it at the gas station if it was for real, because you don't want to be beaten on it if it's not good. So go home and check it out. We're here in my garage and I got our E85 sample right there. And then also the tester in the middle here, and then just some regular tap water. So um, this can be kind of tough to do it on my tripod with me, but um, basically I'm going to fill this tester um, up with uh, water to that line right there. So that's what I'm going to do real quick, and I'm not going to videotape it because I'll just spill even more. All right, with the, the magic of editing, there we are. I got uh, got the tester filled up with with water. So now I'm going to take my uh, ED5 and fill it up until that very top line there at E85. So I'm going to do that now. Alright, surprisingly enough, that actually went really well <laughs> on the first take here. So there's the, the line and there's like kind of, there's kind of like a mix, mix line. See how it's like cloudy right there at the R on the tester. So anyway, <clears throat> you fill it up and it doesn't really mix, so you gotta gotta quick shake it up. And now, see how it's all cloudy like that? It's gonna start separating out. So you'll see you'll see towards the top here. See how there's like a um, a separation line right there, <clears throat> and that'll keep keep receding. You can see how it's like kind of separating back a little bit, but we'll just give this a minute to work. So it's had a, a minute, maybe two, to do its thing here, and you can see the the separation line is, I would say, somewhere in the, you know, north of 85, somewhere maybe 85, 86 percent. So that's right from the pump here in South Dakota, so that's great. Um, I do this often. Uh, I would say not every fill-up, but maybe every other fill-up or something like that, and uh, it has been rock solid. Um, definitely near the seasons change. That's kind of when you want to um, be really. Um, it, it could change, so um, that's why I try and be really consistent about it. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Um, you know, if you're considering switching to E85, this is something you'll probably have to do. But um, it's not really that labor intensive. Just kind of inconvenient to take a little sample of fuel home. So. Anyway, thanks for watching.